today coming up how to turn an IKEA bookshelf into an acoustic absorber for your studio in just 30 minutes with just 30 bucks and it actually really works. Until we know who we are. Hey guys, welcome to the studio. My name is John Sign, DJ producer, daily vlogger. This right here is my studio where I make music on a daily basis. But today, not today, is Saturday, the perfect day to start with another project. My girlfriend is on her sister's baby shower party. So I got plenty of time to start the next project. As you know, I just finished this diffuser, self-made DIY diffuser. Don't ask how long it took. If you're interested how I made it, I will link up here the video. And speaking of DIY projects, my table right here is also self-made. The one special feature is that you can open up this cover and have a full-size 88 weighted keys keyboard. Just jam along, make music. A couple of days ago, someone wrote me an email asking me how to build this desk. He rebuilt it in a 3D program, had all of the measurements in it. He got really close to it without ever being here, just from watching the videos. And since a lot of you asked how I made it and what the measurements are, and some are interested in rebuilding it, here are the, the measurements for it and how to build it. Thanks a lot to, I forgot his name, but I will put it here. Thanks a lot for making this. If you're interested in the plan, just pause and screenshot it. Because I don't have time to talk about those past projects. I already made entire videos about them. They will be linked up at the end of the video. Today it's time for this other project. And since I'm not doing my other channel, Cooking with John Sign, I got already something prepared as they do it on the cooking channels. This right here is one of those diffusers that I want to build today. I got plenty of them. Here is one, there's another one. In the corners the same thing another corner absorber two more and in the back two more here two more there and the entire back wall i made all of this two years two and a half years ago before i started doing the daily vlogs so it's not on camera how i actually built the studio but i got a couple of pictures believe me it was a big mess a lot of work went into it but it was definitely worth it there is nothing that helps you more to mix your music than actually fixing your room because only if you can hear properly what you're doing, you can do it right. So before you spend a lot of money on compressors, expensive speakers, put at least one third of your money into the room if you can. The ceiling was really messy. I don't want to get into that and ever talk about it. The side absorbers are actually pretty easy to make. They were made with an IKEA bookshelf, rock wool, 30 minutes of time, and then they're all done. And I ordered another one of these bookshelves. Let me get it. Oh, it's heavy. I think this one is called Gerpsy or something like that. It's, I think, the thinnest, smallest, cheapest bookshelf IKEA sells. It's usually 20 bucks. I got this one for free. No, this video is not sponsored by IKEA. I actually don't really like their stuff and going there shopping. Let's not even start with that. But buying this is way cheaper than building yourself a frame and it has exactly the measurements for the filling that will later go into the absorber. Now comes the fun part, building this. I wish I could just shake it and have it ready. Maybe it works. No, not really. Maybe one more time. That went quick. It was a whole lot of fun. I don't get why people always complain that much about the IKEA stuff. <laughs> Shit. No. Uh, Come on. Parts missing. Uh, <laughs> quick break. <sighs> da 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 da. Nah, come on! Shit. Bookshelf. Oh, it was a nightmare. You see, I'm I'm still not all done. There are plenty of parts left. But there is a logic behind that because we just need the bookshelf as a frame. So we don't need the compartments in the middle. The back wall we will need, but later on. First up is the stuff that actually goes in here. And that stuff is dangerous. where I store all of the dangerous stuff. It's actually just full with a lot of garbage. 
foot massage, water thing, shower thing, and a lot of that black acoustic pyramid stuff. Which is actually, by the way, the worst you can do for your studio because it is absorbing all of the mid and very high frequencies completely. But it's not doing anything to the low end, so you end up with a room that is very absorbing in the top frequencies and the base part is still a mess. Which is actually the most important to actually control right and the hardest to get right. But here, this big red thing in German, it's called Steinwolle. Translated rock wool, that's also what the company is called. I don't know what this stuff is called or which company makes it in the US or in any other country. It's mostly used for absorbing heat in buildings to put it in the walls and make sure it's not getting cold. Dämmmaterial. No clue what this means in English. So here on the side are the most important informations for this kind of material. It says here the, the width, I have here like 8 centimeters. It's a meter by 0 0.6 and that's exactly what fits in here. These are 0 0.6 and they are 0 0.6, 2.5, but you can compress them a little. And by far the most important value is ST. VE, I don't know what it is in English, but it's like the airflow resistant and it has here a six. I don't know how the scale works. Make sure to get a material that isn't too dense because if it's too dense, sound will hit it and just get reflected. If it's too loose, it will just go through, hit your wall and then get back to you. So that's really by far the most important property. I was lucky, I bought like 30 or 40 of them. They're all here in this room and at the time, the one with the six with the best air resistant flow density was also the cheapest one. There are online also a couple of calculators available where you can calculate the airflow resistant and also calculate how much material you actually need to go to a lower frequency. For example, this right here, the entire package is maybe 50 wide and this might actually be enough to absorb everything that goes down to even 50 hertz. So the thicker your absorber, the better, the thinner, the less it will actually do. And the most ones you can actually buy are usually pretty thin. They're maybe 10, maybe 15 centimeters. But these right here, they are, I think 25. That's already pretty good. I think it will cover anything that goes up, down, below to maybe 250 hertz, 300 hertz. Not sure about the exact values. Oh, now comes the part why I told you this stuff is dangerous. I can already like feel it in my throat. That stuff is, it's not as dangerous as a lot of people say, cause it's like the newer stuff, they developed it differently. But if you breathe it in, it stays on your lungs forever. It's very hard for your body to get rid of it. So whenever you handle it, be careful. Don't do all of the things that I did. Don't touch it, don't breathe it, wear a mask, wear something for your eyes. And if you put it into the absorber, definitely cover it with a thin layer of foil all around it so that no air can go in and out and the small particles can be all in your room. For example, you can hear here, there is like, always something underneath of the fabric. The fabric isn't really enough. Those particles are so small, they go through the fabric, so definitely get something that covers it 100%. <coughs> it also itches when you touch it. If it gets in your hair, it itches at least for a day until you shower really cold. Try just to avoid any contact. If you do a lot of these absorbers, do it outside. I will actually now get rid of this, put it outside on the balcony, and, and continue with the video. I think the next step was back then when I did all of the absorbers to actually put the fabric around it. So I covered the front with the fabric, put it into the back and stapled it in here so that one side was open, the back side. Put it on the floor, put the absorbing material in it. First the, the cover foil, of course, then the absorbing material, put the foil also around it on the back. Then actually put the back wall on top and close it off with the provided nails. And when you're all done, it just looks like this. You have this bookshelf filled with the material, all covered with fabric, foil. And on the back, you can see that it's just like the normal back wall nailed into it. And I turned actually the back walls around 
so that the white nicer side is to the outside. And that's pretty much it. That's the cheapest, fastest, easiest way to get a good absorber that actually works. That stuff is maybe for this entire package and I think one package goes in here or maybe one and a half is maybe six to 12 euros. If you buy more, you get it cheaper. The bookshelf is 20. So all in all, around 30 bucks plus the staples. I would recommend you to get a really good one. The ones that you use at home for paper, they are not working. You need the ones with air pressure. The fabric is also from Ikea, but you can take anything. Just try to get something that is thin. The thinner, the better. So it will also absorb the higher frequencies. If your studio is fine and in, in the higher frequencies and you just want to control the low end, I would advise you to first start with the corners. That's usually where the base builds up. And you could even like turn these absorbers around and have like the back wall to the front. So it reflects the higher frequencies and absorbs the lower frequencies. This way you can also change the sound of your room. Whenever you move your studio, you can take these just with you. You don't have to build again absorbers. If you have good stable walls you can also mount them to the wall and if you have like a really small studio and if you just make three of them like one in the back and then just put them horizontal same one to the right one to the left and then you got all of the early reflection points and the back wall covered and you should definitely already hear a big improvement in your studio and if you make three it's like maybe 120 maybe 150 with like all of the fabric and other material and believe me it will improve your acoustic by a lot and actually make your speakers sound way more accurate and those 150 you will definitely save getting better speakers where you actually can't hear the difference because your room is changing so much. Kind of have the feeling I already said that in the past couple of days three times. But it's just so important and so many people forget it. The room changes more the sound than, than the speakers. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I think I should maybe open up the window and a little break. Actually no break. I have so many things to take care of. My label, my own releases, working on new music here in the studio. Um, also, by the way, this knife here is excellent to cut this material. You could also use a, a kitchen knife that is actually made for bread. You just need the serrated edges. Because for the smaller compartment, you actually need to cut a little. And my plan with this, and that's also the main reason why I'm not finishing it today, is actually to put it here onto the door. Because this is like an early reflection point. Very important to get it also covered and also have it like symmetrical with the other side. So on this side too and here too. But the second one is right in front of the door and I'm kind of sick to squeeze through the door every day. So my idea was to make this new one a little less absorbing material into it so that it doesn't get that heavy. And somehow, I still don't know how, mount it onto the door or maybe build a second door and then mount it on it. It really depends on the door. I think it's, it's not really solid. Might be even hollow inside. I don't know. I will find out probably tomorrow but now it's time to just work on some music on the upcoming releases and then maybe actually going home relax a little i mean it's saturday i've worked the entire week i can't even remember the last time i had a day off but since it doesn't really feel like work because i'm doing what i love every day it's not that bad oh, it's been so long. it has been a